Alright everyone, welcome to another RFC Reviews. I'm your host, Diecast, and today we have Voltron, but this is not an old Voltron. This is a brand new Voltron from Playmates, which is the 84 Voltron. So, it, it's the old Voltron in the sense it's the original Lion Force Voltron, but is new in the sense that I just purchased these and they are just starting to hit stores. So, here you have the whole group all weaponed up uh, with their the sword and the shield. The sword comes with Red Lion, the shield comes with Green Lion, and they look awesome, especially for the price. These are anywhere from $18 to $20 a limb, arms and legs, and then about $30 to $40, depending on where you find the black line. And the black line has about 50 phrases, just like the Netflix Voltron. We'll call it Netflix Voltron because old and new gets confusing because if you're going by Playmates release, the Voltron Netflix one is the old one and this is the new one, but this is the old original 84 and that's the Netflix Voltron. So we got a little bit going on here. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the articulation on some of these guys and the weapons. Um, so here we have Red Lion, and of course you can see everything tabs in their mouth quite nice. They do have a ratcheted head movement uh, to make it a really good hand. Uh, no up and down in the head on this guy. These weapons, they pop in very secure. So you get them about this far, and you think that's good, but you got to really, really push on it, and you hear that click which locks it into place. So you can rotate these around if you want to while it's in the hole, um, whatever you want to do. Each one comes with a firing missile. So, come on, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire? Oh, wrong button. There we go, one on top. <laughs> so you can tell I haven't fired the missile yet, except the one I believe it was the yellow one. I was trying to tab it in, and it shot me in the eye. Uh, so be careful with these. These these can hurt adults as as well, or or me. Um, you have nice ratchets at like every point. Even the even the feet have a nice soft ratchet. If you're familiar with the Netflix Voltron in this size, which I believe they say it's about 16 inches uh, in combined mode, you'll be familiar with this. In a lot of ways, I think these uh, feel a little bit better, uh, a lot, a little bit more quality in these than the Netflix Voltron. So you're getting, you're getting a really nice, a really nice Voltron if you wanted. And a lot of ways they are the same with the articulation and stuff like that. So love love these especially for the price the paint on them also is a little bit cleaner it's not perfect everywhere uh but it's not it's not bad not bad so go ahead and take a look yellow again paint not great i mean there there's there's a little bit of bleed there's a little bit of spots that should have been painted that weren't um but i'm forgiving it for the price point this is not an SOC Voltron by any means. Uh, even this piece on the back there does rotate on yellow so you can fire fake missiles. Um, yeah, and again, they shoot really well. Oh, that one's not coming back. Sorry about that. Uh, the legs rotate. And of course, on yellow, you get the head up and down movement and you can get a little a little waggle, but not much. But very good, very nice. And of course, the head can go up and down because of the foot transformation. So, really nice. And of course, you can see on the bottom here, there is some, it could have used another coat of yellow, but like I said, I'm not being overly picky with these guys. And also inside, it's getting a little pink because there's not enough paint. But 
for what they are and the price point, I think they are really, really good. And then the tail can just flip up like that. So there you have yellow. And of course, blue and green are basically the same. You just get different weapons with these guys. So they don't have numbers on them, though. I wish they would have came with stickers where we could have numbered them up if you wanted to. Um, but yeah. I'm sure, I don't know if Repro Labels does Voltron figures, but maybe they would come out with a set of stickers for these guys. Um, here is Black Lion, and one of the things they added, they added a locking mechanism for Voltron for the arms, which is really nice. Uh, that was one of the main problems with the Netflix Voltron. And then he does have sounds. We will defend this planet! Your evil forces will never defeat us! <laughs> Hagar's Roe Beast is about to have a bad day! <laughs> Form Voltron! <laughs> we will defend this planet! Hagar's Roe Beast is about to have a bad day! The galaxy is about to be secure! Form Voltron! Activate laser blades! They'll soon be defeated by Voltron, defender of the universe! Lotor, your evil forces will never defeat us! The galaxy is about to be secure! Form Voltron! So anyway, there are a lot of sounds for Voltron. You do get a ratcheted head. Very soft, but... And again, a soft ratchet up and down. Nice ratchet on the legs. The legs can only go up that far. You got ratchets at there and also on the paws, just like the other lions. Uh, again, nice strong ratchets for the legs. You also do get an on or off switch if you want to turn off the, the uh, noise. And then you get one hinge at the other part of the neck. So a lot, lot of movement on the head. And then... What's really nice, when you do the things, you get a light up the feature galaxy right is there. About to be secure. Form Voltron! Form Voltron! Which is really cool. Um, again, 50 phrases. I'm not going to run through them all. I think I ran through enough of them to give you guys an idea of what's going on. So, let's go ahead and get the, uh, get the weapons off of these guys. He, Blackline does not come with any weapons or anything like that, just so you know. So we're not leaving that out. But let's go ahead. I'll get the weapons off these guys and we'll go ahead and combine them. All right, so we got these guys all uh, all ready to be combined. or All the weapons are off, so let's go ahead and just do a little bit of cleanup on the legs. Just fold them up like that. I think everyone pretty much knows how these things fold up. Um, get them all. Get them all lined up. This tail does collapse. Just like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, there we go. Oh, kind of pops in there um, but man that's gonna be hard to get out there you go you can can wiggle it out if you want uh, get it pushed in like that we'll bring the connection port out and you can see the tail kind of push that connection port out a little bit um, not sure how far you're supposed to push the tail in but it went in about that far and then you can see how you get the head movement for the wrist. You get a nice rotation there. Uh, so as far as rotation, everything looks pretty good. Uh, green line, same thing. Collapse the legs all up. Get the tail in. I like to rotate the tail around. Uh, it just gives it 
more room when you pop it in. Pop this out. And again, it's just a question of getting that popped in, which does take a little bit of doing. There you go. Then they just have these these nubs, but at least it's popped in. So there we go. We had a little bit of battery failure, but there is the other arm ready to go. And we'll take the legs. Again, they just rotate up. Now that's going to bother me. The one leg is a little bit higher than the other. Uh, there we go. And then we'll just bring the head down enough that it's flat and secure. Just like that. And these tails just flip around, which is really nice. So we got yellow, and let's go blue. And you want to get these straight as you can for when they're forming Voltron. I'm actually going to bring this up a little bit. It's like they need a click in between. They're either going to lean forward just a little bit or lean back just a little bit. And of course the black line, you're just going to straighten the legs out. We can... Split, split the wings, they just tab in, there's a peg right there, and a, and a hole right there. Flip the tail up, leave that like that for now. And then these arms, these panels will come up. So this can go in, just like that. Do the same thing on this side, flip those in. Get that as straight as you can. Close that. And these will come up behind. Let's see if we can raise the camera a little bit. All right. This is a big bot. Big bot. So it is going to kind of stretch the limits. And then we'll plug these in. the camera up even more you can see it is definitely stretching my background red lion all systems go ready to form Voltron activate interlocks dynatherms connected infracells up Thrusters are go! Form feet and legs! Form arms and body! And I'll form the head! Go Voltron! Send the head! Form blazing sword! Ah, he's going through everything. And we'll just flip these down. And there you have Voltron. And he is a little wobbly. I feel like you can't you either get him leaning back just a little bit or if we go to the next click you kind of got him leaning Kids, forward are you hurt no i can handle it 
And that was Pidge right there. That was a pretty good Pidge. So honestly... We gotta hang on somehow. I trust you, Keith. That was the princess. So you're getting different voices uh, when you're in... Activate laser blade! Voltron we gotta mode. hang on somehow. And then let's just go ahead and go back here and extend the wings up. Like I was saying, uh, there, I got them standing pretty straight there, so that that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. And, uh... Pitch, talk to me! Are you hurt? I'd be hurt if you didn't ask! <laughs> I think it looks really good. And then let's go ahead and just put the shield in. They have a peg here. So you can get that in pegged into his mouth, just like the weapons. And it unpegged. But you can't kind of, if you want to use the shield in front of him, you got to kind of just... Again, he can be... Can be a little bit unstable uh, but you know if he's on the shelf like this you'll be you'll be totally good and there he is with his Okay, he, he just, I must have hit that button on the side. He just wanted to do that. So, you know, I'm going to let him do his thing. He is the star today. Uh, but there you have the, the shield in his hand and his blazing sword, which has no paint. But, oh, don't fall, don't fall. Here he is with Netflix Voltron. So you can get those two together. And again, they look very good together and they're very large. Uh, pretty good looking Voltrons. And let's go ahead and get some other Voltrons in here just for a size comparison. Okay, here's the SOC Voltron. Soul of Chigokin. Uh, which is amazing how heavy he is <laughs> compared to the other Voltrons. Um, and here he is with, we'll call him, all, he's almost like a G1 Voltron. I don't think I got, I don't think he's my original Voltron. But he does have 84 stamped on the back of the Lions. Now whether that this is a knockoff or not, I don't even remember where I got this. But honestly, you know. Longtime Voltron fan. So there's a couple Voltrons all together. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, the Netflix Voltron was a very good review for me. It got a lot of people uh, watching the channel. So thank you so much. That actually inspired this review. And of course, I'm a product of the 80s. So, you know, we had to get the 80s Voltron in here. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Um, should be a little button right there. Right there, just hit that. Uh, thumbs up, comment, like. Tell me what you think about Voltron, what you like and don't like. Uh, and uh, thank you guys for watching. And I don't know what to say other than we'll see you next time.